Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So as you saw by the title of this video, we are doing a full face of drugstore products and it is all one brand. I am using Milani Cosmetics. This brand has expanded so much in the past couple years. They have a lot more face products. They have skincare products and they're trying to keep up with the trends. So I have a lot of the new products that they've come out with recently that I haven't tried yet. And I want to show you guys on camera first impressions. Before we get into it, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. You click the video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I film a lot of beauty content and I do throw some fitness in as well. So if you're into hauls, tutorials, reviews, anything beauty related, it's here on this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I got this look using all Milani drugstore products, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're about to dive into this box. This is mostly, <laughs> mostly stuff that I hauled recently. I showed you guys in a video. This is stuff that I got during a Milani sale. Um, I think they had 30% off, so I grabbed a lot of stuff that I had been eyeballing and I am pretty sure that I have everything I need to do a full face. So we're going to start off with primer. So I picked up the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer. This says hydrating. Prime skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup, hydrate, create a natural finish, lightweight, non-greasy, minimize the look of pores. Oh yeah, and that just squirted everywhere. So this is what the primer looks like. I just realized pretty much everything I am using today is like super glowy, hydrating, which I don't know if that's a good thing. My face has been feeling a lot less dry lately and it may just be because of the heat. So we're gonna let that sit. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to put a little bit of powder on my eyebrows just because I feel like that's been helping to keep them in place longer. I'm going to use this, what is this called? Translucent Light to Mediums Make It Last Setting Powder. This I also picked up in the haul. Figured this might be similar to the Sephora powder. So this is what the powder looks like and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a powder, regular little brush, and just lightly dust my eyebrows to set those. I have two brow products from Milani, and I'm not sure which one I wanna use yet, so we will get into that later, but I have this brow pomade, and then I also have this brow, this is one of those pins that's supposed to help with like hair-like strokes, more realistic, all that good stuff. For our eyes today. I have two eyeshadow palettes. Now one of these I've had literally since last summer and I haven't used it. I picked up the soft and sultry palette whenever I went on my cool tone palette kick but then I also just picked up this Gilded Terra palette from CVS recently and this is what she looks like. So I don't know if I want to do color or if I want to do cool toned. So I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'm gonna think about that. I just realized I'm kind of disappointed that I did not pick up the um, eyeshadow primer that Emily Noel always talks about. She loves, it's like a $6 eyeshadow primer. I didn't pick that up, so I'm just gonna use concealer. I have the Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. This one's in the shade 05 Honey. This I've also had for a while and have not used. As you can see, this has never been used. So I'm just gonna use that on my eyes. So it has a sponge applicator, which I guess you can use to blend it out. Kind of reminds me of the, um, which one is that? Maybelline Age Rewind. But I'm just gonna blend this out real quick and then we will get into this eyeshadow. I went ahead and used the translucent powder to set my eyeshadow. I've decided we're gonna do some color. And I think I'm gonna play with these gold shades. This gold here, 
the one here and we're just gonna do like a super gold bright we're gonna start there I'm gonna start with slow burn which is this shade here and I'm gonna put that in my crease I have not used whoa that's a lot more pigment than I thought it was gonna be I haven't used this yet I did swatch a couple colors just to see what it was gonna look like but right off the bat that is a very nice shade and it is blending out very easy. I do see there's some kick up in the pan. I don't know if you guys can see there, but it's kind of getting on to the palette. So a lot picks up whenever you dip in. So be aware of that. I am not the type to ever like dust kick off or like knock off any of the excess shadow. I always just go straight in i like that wow factor that whoa factor i don't want to put it on and it just be like uh that didn't do nothing i love how that shade looks and it is blending out so pretty next i'm gonna go in we're gonna start off with weekender which is this super super yellow shade and we're gonna start that on the center of the lid and then blend outwards I am not wetting my brush. I just want to see how this applies by itself at first. Pigment. Milani is one of my all time favorite drugstore brands and I love that they've started coming out with more skincare stuff. I have their rose oil primer right here when my skin was really dry. I use that all the time. I used it today too. This shadow is packing on extremely well and definitely true to color. Now, one thing I am noticing, and I don't know if this is going to be hard pan or not, but you see how that looks like, I don't know what's going on right there. And I'm just using my brush. So, well, I don't know what that is. I'll keep an eye on it and keep you guys posted if I start having issues with the shadow. But so far, this color is gorgeous. I'm going to go in with a deeper shade now and deepen up my outer V. Deepest one in here is Branch Out, which is this dark brown here. Yeah, that is dark. That's dark enough. And it's building, so it's even darker when you pat it on. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, and I'm just going to run this through the crease to kind of give it more definition, like we're doing a cut crease. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that, but we do. And then I'm going to go in with Glamping, which is this super shimmery shade here. I wonder if I should wet my brush. I'm not going to. We're just going to see how it applies first, but I'll go back and wet it if needed. Yeah, this is super glittery. I'm going to wet my brush using the Milani Make It Last spray. You guys have seen this in other videos. I do not like the sprayer on here i absolutely hate it because it is very hard and i just feel like it is too aggressive why yeah there we go it almost looks like the exact same shade except just a little more shimmer i don't know if i expected more color from that or more shine I don't know. I didn't expect them to be that similar, I guess. But it's still pretty. And you can see a difference, but not enough. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more... A different shade of that type of shine. I'm going to take Enjoy the View and just see what that looks like on the inner corner. And so far the shadows are applying well. I don't see any fallout yet, so that is always a good thing. I'm gonna go back in with Weekender and just pack that on a little more. Let's see what it does with my finger. Oh, now you see that? That's why I always use my finger. It's just so much easier and it takes less time. You don't have to keep dipping back in. 
I don't mind getting one finger dirty. I ain't using all my fingers like applying foundation and stuff, but one little finger to get your eyeshadow to look like this, it is worth it. So now I'm gonna take the shade, spruce it up here, and I'm just gonna pat that on the outer. Oh, that's darker than I thought, oh, okay. I was trying to merge these shades, but I pretty much just completely tapped over the gold. <laughs> so we're gonna go back in and just blend a little more, just so it's not such a harsh contrast. And then I'm gonna go back around the edges and I'm gonna take slow burn, but I am going to go a lot lighter handed and just blend out around where we added the darker shade. I think we'll stop right there with the eyes for now. This is a really easy application. Y'all know I wanted to play in these greens. That's what the green shades look like there. I was so tempted to do that, but I feel like I always gravitate towards green. So I wanted to give you guys something different. So I still could put green on this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I always do green and gold, green and gold. So we're gonna stay with this. I'm gonna move on to the rest of the face and then we'll finish the eyes. During my haul, I picked up this Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. This is in the shade 130 Deep Peach. I have not tried this since I showed it in the haul, so we're gonna try it right now. I do have my, whoa, might be a lot. I do have my Becca Under Eye Anti-Fatigue Primer on underneath my eyes, just because I felt like my bags were insane. So we're just adding this on top. This is a peach shade, so it is gonna help color correct. So as you can see, even though it's kind of bright, it did help with the darkness in terms of fading it a little bit, but this is not a concealer. This is not like, I'm gonna hide your under eyes and all that stuff. So definitely did help brighten. For foundation, I don't know what type of coverage I'm gonna get out of this and I don't plan on color correcting. This is the Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. I got the shade 310 Medium to Dark. Very hydrating, says it has squalane and glow enhancing ingredients, ultra luminous skin tint. I'm very tempted. I'm gonna use it first by itself to see what happens, but I have a feeling that this is not gonna be enough coverage for me, but I wanna see what it looks like by itself. So it is very, it's liquidy, so you can see it's already running down my finger. And I got a feeling I'm gonna need to go over this with something else. I do have other Milani face products that I can use, so we'll see, but yeah. This is definitely a skin tint. If you're looking for a product, if you have better skin than I do. My skin's better, but I still have hyperpigmentation. Let's say that. If you don't have the hyperpigmentation that I do, and you don't need as much coverage, and you just want something to kind of help even your skin out, give you a little glow, like, I'm glowing, definitely. But this does not have the coverage that I would want for a face product, for me. You can pretty much still see everything. Did it balance everything out a little bit? Yeah, I would say it did. But if I just want to cover my dark spots, I will use some concealer and just put it in the really bad areas and then set it with some powder and go. I won't put it all over my face. But this is what this looks like. Let's see if it's buildable. I'm gonna add a little more just on my cheeks so you guys can see that. I think that for me, this would be a great product to blend in with my foundations that are really matte or maybe something that is too dark. Mm, it actually is a little buildable. It's still not enough coverage, but it is buildable. So it covered up a little bit more on my cheeks, but you still see my hyperpigmentation. I am gonna go in with another Milani product that I have. I actually love this foundation. This is the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I have mine in the shade 500 Toffee. I love the shade of this, even though it is probably a little dark right now. Um, I love the coverage of this. The first time I tried it, I was just blown away. Yeah, I bought this during the summer last year. 
And I think I'm just gonna put this in the places that I need it most because it is so dark but you will see the difference in the coverage. So now you can see those dark spots are gone. But I wanted to show you guys what the other skin tint look like so that if you're interested in products with lighter coverage and you have dry skin, you know that that will work for you. And if you're close to my shade, then you know the shade will work for you as well. Ooh, I am shiny. We are gonna set this because like I said, in Houston right now, it is hot. And if I try to go, I'm not going anywhere today, but if I was and I tried to go outside like this, my face would melt off, all the way off. So now we're gonna go in with the concealer again to try to lighten this up some. <laughs> uh, hopefully the coverage on this will be enough, but I can also set it with that brightening powder and that'll help lighten it, so. Not worried just yet. I don't know how I feel about this applicator because it's not like I'm gonna use it to blend it out, but I feel like it's soaking up the product as I'm trying to spread it out. So it's a little weird. This definitely blends out very easily. And I don't know if it's just because everything on my face is so hydrating that nothing is sticking or being patchy like everything is just applying so smooth but that is definitely brightening so looks like we can make her work and i'm going to drag this on my jawline just a little to help lighten up here but i think so far i like the shade of this it definitely is brightening the coverage is nice i don't feel like i need to go back in with any more product so that is a good thing but we need to set this before it starts creasing so i'm going to take that translucent powder again and i'm just going to pack that under my eyes because we got a lot of moisturizing products on and we do not want this to move i'm just going to set a little bit of this area as well i don't have a face powder that I could use that as my skin tone. So probably is a good thing that everything was a little darker. Now for the face, I, I must say I was excited and then I got it and I was a little disappointed. I picked up the Milani face palette. This is the all inclusive eye, cheek and face palette. I love the shades. I think it's gorgeous. I could have used eyeshadows in here. I forgot about that. But this is just a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So that was the thing that kind of made me disappointed. But in terms of the products themselves, I think they're gorgeous. I want to see, I don't have anything to contour. So we're going to build up this bronzer and hopefully we can get enough out of that, even though it is a warmer tone. So I'm just taking the shade that says bronze. So it's definitely deep enough. And I also did not set this part of my face, so it is pretty much clinging straight to the foundation. I don't know if that's helping it apply darker or not, but I probably need it. I really like the shade of this and it's applying well too. But I can definitely tell a difference of where I'm putting it down, where I set versus where I didn't. So we are looking nice and bronze. Like I said, I like the shade of this. I think it is a really good, take my bronzer brush and just kind of go over it a little more with a brush that's not so dense. But I like the shade of this a lot. Now for blush, we do have blushes in here. But I bought all of these beautiful cream blushes. And this is not all of them either, I don't think. I still have some in my drawer. Well, I think you guys just missed me applying my blush because I wasn't recording. For blush, I used, where'd you go? Nude Kiss, which is this cream. Why today? As you can see, we are very blushed. I use this. This is what it looks like on my finger. And then blend it out on the back of my hand. So the pigmentation is definitely there. Gorgeous color. And then I went over it with the blush in the palette. 
which that is the blush shade very dark and I put that on top to set so that is why we look like we have a lot of blush on right now and then I was comparing the highlighters this is the highlighter champagne d'oro and this is the highlighter in the palette so I will show you the difference between those but it's mainly the undertone one is more gold one is more champagne and we are going to use both so this is the palette this is the compact the blush the cream blush applied so smooth and i was saying that i liked it because sometimes when i've used other cream blushes i feel like they're kind of hard to apply they stick they don't blend out as well i like that this is in like a pot so it's easier to get my brush in and it's easier to blend it out and then the other one the blush that i used from the palette very pigmented so you have to be careful dip your brush in lightly but i love these shades together and i think it's cute so now we go back to the highlighter this is the highlighter from the palette so as you can see she is gold dip in lightly but as we all know i like highlighter so my lightly and your lightly may not be the same thing but I am going to show you the other one as well. So this is what it looks like by itself. Definitely you could stop there. But we're not going to stop there. So now I'm going to take the other. Also picks up a lot on the brush. And as you can see that just amped that up times 10. Honestly, I also think I prefer the shade of this one. I don't like really yellow gold highlighters. I like more of a champagne shade. So this is actually more up my alley than the other, but I can use it. As you can see, it looks good. It's just not my favorite. And then I'm just gonna go back with my blush brush and blend all those together. I'm gonna take a little bit of the translucent powder and I'm gonna just go back in the front of my cheeks so that we don't have so much blush here in the front and also to tame some of the shine because I do not like to look glowy too much in this part of my face. All right, so this is where we are at the face right now. We're gonna finish up the eyes. I'm gonna take that dark brown shade from the palette with my pencil brush and just run that underneath. And I apologize. I don't know if you guys can hear. We have a house being built literally in our backyard, like right across the fence. So I feel like they went a while not working on it and then it's been nonstop. So if you can hear the construction noise, I apologize. I'm going to go in with Weekender on the same pencil brush, which is the shade we put in the middle. to help tie all that together and then I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush with the enjoy the view the lightest shade down here and just make sure we didn't lose that inner corner highlight I just realized for eyeliner I do not have a pencil liner from Milani just like a regular brown or a black so I'm going to really focus on stamping this in my waterline. I have a liquid liner, but I'm not trying to do that on my bottom lash line. I might a little bit, but I'm terrified I'm going to mess that up. For eyeliner, the liquid liner I have is the Milani The Tank Liner. When this first came out, it was pretty hard to find. And then I was able to find it at a drugstore. And I personally hate eyeliners that take too long to come out and you have to keep going over them so i was like okay sounds like something i'm gonna love so i don't like that it's a felt tip i prefer a brush but because it comes out so fast i don't have any issues with it like i want to be able to put my eyeliner on and go about my business not have to take 50 million years trying to get it to come out and then the eyeliner isn't showing as dark because the eyeshadow is clogging it like just you have one job that's it so that's what the eyeliner looks like very black i love it i'm not going to do a big crazy wing i'm going to do the other one off camera and then i'll show you the mascara brows and lips and we'll be done 
We're gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna start off with this weekend brow eye tint. I got it in the shade 140 Espresso. Packaging is almost identical to the eyeliner, so very simple, but we're just gonna start off with that and see how pigmented this is. I do like the front of my brows to be a little fluffier. Oh, that is very pigmented. Let's see if I can do this so you guys can see like that is coming off a lot. And this is a very narrow pin. So Oh yeah, this is super pigmented. Like you got to be really careful. Wow. So if you are into just bushy hair like strokes you are gonna love this i don't think i've ever used a brow product that was a liquid this easy i may not need to use the pomade and it's dark enough that you can actually like define the bottom this is crazy it's almost like a little too much maybe i should have got a lighter shade that is probably the most natural looking brow i have ever done this thing is good I want to see what the pomade looks like, but I kind of feel like I don't need to. This is the dark brown stay put brow color. They don't call it a pomade. This is already separated from the jar, which usually happens when it starts drying out. So I'm just going to see. It's not dry. It's also not the same shade. I don't know which one's gonna stay better. I'm probably just gonna use the brow on this side, the brow pomade on this side and see. Hopefully it don't look too crazy when I'm done. And just see which one has more stay in power and I'll leave a comment in the description box to let you guys know. But in terms of application, this one over here was like nothing. Just fill in where you wanna fill in and go. This I feel like you have to be a little more careful because it can apply too thick. And it's also not gonna give you the same hair-like strokes as the other. It'll be a little more sculpted, which isn't a bad thing. It just depends on the look that you want. I don't think that looks too crazy, too different. We're just gonna go with it because I wanted to show you guys both. But I like both of these. That pin though, that's gonna be like my everyday fluffy brow. I might have to get some more of these. This is really good. For mascaras, I have two. I don't really want to open two, but I'm going to show you guys. The first one is the Milani Lash Trifecta. It says it lengthens, curls, and separates. So it's in this blue tube here, blue and black. Gorgeous color. I like this color blue. Then this other is the Highly Rated, which I threw away the box. So this one says it is the ultimate 10 in 1 mascara, highly rated for a reason. It builds, lifts, and dramatizes for extreme volume in a single stroke with a luxurious finish. Why does this say Jeffree Star approved on Ulta? This first one, the last trifecta, is in the shade black. This does have the bristle tip, it's not a brush. So let's see. It does seem like it's more of a drier formula, which I personally like. I don't like really wet mascaras. I don't know if you guys can even see that with my liner. It's okay. I see my forehead wrinkles. Mm. It's all right. I think this would be more of like an everyday mascara that you aren't wearing eyeshadow with so that it doesn't overpower or maybe for your bottom lashes let's try that it's almost like it's too dry
not bad, but I don't see, I mean, I see it, but I don't feel like it's like, well, from the side. So now we're gonna try the highly rated. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, this one's not as dry, and I don't know if it's also because it's different bristles, but I just feel like right off the bat, first pass, this one is a lot darker and giving me a lot more volume. I don't even know if I'm close enough that you guys can see my lashes, but I just feel like with this brush though, it might get all over the place trying to use it at the bottom, so we'll see. Yeah, this one definitely builds up more and has more volume than this one does. So we're gonna stop there with the mascara. I did get a little bit of transfer already, but that's what the mascara looks like. I definitely like the highly rated one more. We're gonna move on to lips. For lips, I have two liners. Actually, I have more than that, but I have two new ones. Um, these are the understatement lip liners. I bought the same shade, I forgot. So I have one. This is in the shade Rich Cocoa. I don't know if I meant to do that or not. I honestly don't remember. But it is more of a brown. I love Milani liners. I love all their lip products. Yeah, this is pretty. I personally love retractable liners. I do not like having to sharpen. I feel like it wastes product. I like that this is a dark brown, but it still has a little bit of warmth to it. So it's not coming off cool toned at all. Then for lips, I have so many. Let me count. I have six Milani lipsticks. Might be more, but right there on my shelf, I count six. But I don't know if this gloss is going to match. I bought this Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. This is in the shade Rosewood. This is what it looks like. Very big doe foot applicator. We're just gonna go for it. Yeah, this is definitely a gloss. It's not a liquid lipstick. It is minty. I don't know if it's actually gonna start like tingling like some lip plumpers do, but I like how that looks. It kind of reminds me of the which one is that? The Juvia's Place lip glosses, if you use those, but those aren't plumping. Also similar to the Buxom lip glosses, if you've tried those before. But this is it for the look. I'm gonna try this stupid spray again. I think I'm just gonna put it in a different bottle and maybe that'll help because, and I have my fan on, so it's probably not even gonna work. I just feel like this spray is so hard. Eh. Okay, we're gonna do it. It literally is like shooting me in the face. I've heard that it's really good. I just cannot stand using it. Trying to get these forehead wrinkles to settle back down and stop moving my face so much. <laughs> but that is it. I'm gonna throw some lashes on and then I'll come back and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on all the products that I used. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. This eyeshadow, y'all know eyeshadow is always the first thing I go to. Eyeshadow looks absolutely amazing. I don't know if Milani makes lashes or not. I don't have any, so I just threw on an old pair. But this lip combo, the face products, like we really didn't have any issues this time. So that is always a good thing. I'll do a quick recap of the products that I used, what I liked, what I'll have to repurpose. For instance, this skin tint is a skin tint. It is a true skin tint, not like a Fenty skin tint where you still have coverage, but weird, this is just, your face is gonna look moisturized and maybe a little more even, but that's about it. Good product, but I'm gonna have to mix it with something because I would not wear this by itself. Love the lip liner, love the lipstick. The eyeshadow palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors. I am going to play with those greens and I'm also going to play with those purples, but I've done those shades before. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. Great pigmentation, blended easy, definitely worth it. There's a new one that just came out. I can't think of the name of it. I'm going to put it on the screen. Maybe if I can find a picture of it. I saw it and I thought about it for a second, but I didn't grab it because I didn't know how this one was going to work and I didn't want to have two 
and this one not be good. So if you can get your hand on one of these or you've been thinking about it, definitely pick it up. The cream blushes, this was my first time using them. I absolutely love it. I am going to be using these more. I think I have like six or seven shades. I don't even know. I wanna compare them to some of the other cream blushes that I have, but right off the bat, I like that they feel wet on your finger and when you apply them, they don't dry down, but it's not a messy wet. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Like I feel like it's just easier to blend. I don't know. The Rare Beauty one I've tried, I feel like is a little hard to blend. Um, I have some others I haven't tried yet. I need to try my Tower 28 one and I don't remember. I didn't get the LYS one, but I do plan to. So I have others, but love this one for sure. This face palette, it's good. I'd Like I said, the shades are deep enough for my skin tone. There is a lighter one. There is not one deeper than this. So unfortunately, if you're darker than me, this is not going to work as a bronzer for you, but you can probably use the other shades. I like this. I just thought it was going to be bigger. I think this was like $15, maybe even $20. So I just wish it was bigger. That's all. It works well, but not big enough. Yeah, this Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint. I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. I'm probably gonna pick up some backups the next sale I can find because I will probably start using this every day for when I want just a quick, not sculpted, bushier brow that still looks more just filled in, almost kind of like microbladed. That is what it says. It says microbladed. So there you go. This highly rated mascara is very good. The last trifecta, it's okay. If you have to pick and you like, if you don't have a lot of lashes and you need more volume, definitely get this one. If you need more length, definitely get this one. I don't have an issue with curling, so I can't speak on that. But just in terms of best bang for your buck, highly rated over the trifecta. This highlighter, I absolutely love it. This reminds me of like my high-end highlighters like my pat mcgrath mm, yeah yeah the champagne one i'll have to compare the colors but i just think this formula is so smooth it blended so well didn't have any issues and that shade is just gorgeous you can build it up or you can just have it for a sheer kind of lit from within glow but it's beautiful this eye tint thing I mean, whatever. I've tried a few of these now, and I guess, like, I'm going to use a corrector and a concealer. Now, if I'm using a lighter corrector and a lighter concealer, like, not as much coverage, maybe, but I don't really do that. So, it's usually either all glam or just very, I don't know. I'm going to use it because I bought it, but do I think it's worth it? If you don't have a lot of discoloration, you can get this. You can use it, you'll be happy with it. If you have more that you need to cover up, darker circles, use a regular corrector. The translucent powder, I like this powder a lot. Y'all saw that I put it on pretty heavy under my eyes. I don't feel like it looks chalky. I don't feel like I look dry. And I don't feel like it brightened to the point where it was like, whoa, this powder's too white and I can't use it. I think it's a good shade and it really is translucent. It kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier a little bit, maybe not as finely milled, but still a good alternative if you want something from the drugstore. Oh, last but not least, the concealer. I was surprised. I didn't think this was going to cover as much as it did. It says that you're supposed to blend it out with this cushion applicator, but I'm not going to do that. This says retouch and erase light lifting concealer. This is a really good concealer. It's kind of small. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'll put it on the screen, but this is in the shade 05 Honey. I think it was a good shade and I like the coverage of it. I don't feel like I had to use a lot. That is it for everything in this video. You guys saw me use the eyeliner before, so that's nothing special. I love how this look turned out. I think it's pretty, I think this is wearable. Like <laughs> I'll wear this to work, I'll wear this to dinner. I think the look is gorgeous. It's glam. The gold is almost like a yellow. So it's a little bit of a pop of color, but still neutral. I love it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like how this look turned out, give this video a thumbs up. 
Comment below and tell me some of your favorite Milani products. If I didn't use it here, then you know I don't need an excuse to shop, but I can always use that as one, so maybe I'll go pick it up. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.